Hi, my name is John and I'm going to show you how to back up your hard drive without using a time capsule. If you have a time capsule, that's great, but uh, the time to recover your hard drive after a failure can be four to five hours uh, going from the time capsule uh, to your new hard drive uh, if you're trying to recover it. A uh, solution or workaround that I found to speed up this time if I have a hard, hard drive failure was to get a one terabyte uh, hard drive. Uh, you can get any USB 3.0 hard drive. This is great for uh, if you're traveling, if you have a MacBook Pro or even an iMac. If you're not stationary, you can't take a time capsule with you. But uh, with a 3.5 inch, you can definitely make sure that you are backed up and your data is protected. The Time Machine makes a full backup and also makes hourly backups until the hard drive is full. Now you may think that that uh, fills up your hard drive rather fast, but I've had mine going for the last uh, 30 days or so, and it has not filled up a one terabyte hard drive. And I have about 350 gigabytes of data on my main drive. I've done two tests, one with the time capsule backup, completely restoring my system from scratch, where I downloaded uh, Yosemite, OS X Yosemite, and I did a migration assistant uh, from the time capsule to copy all my documents, system preferences, and everything. And it took about four hours, four and a half hours. Conversely, I also did a restore from a one terabyte hard drive, and it took about seven to 10 minutes. I'll show you how to do it. Here we have a USB 3.0 docking station, and I have this set up to take the uh, temporary drive that I'm going to um, use today for the example. Now I've already backed up the uh, my system with this hard drive here but for the sake of the example I'm going to show you how to uh, do it with this hard drive and we turn it on first thing you want to do is go to system preferences time machine and what we're going to do is select the disk and this is the one that I'm going to use for this explanation I just popped it in and this is the uh, hard drive that I do not have formatted that we're going to use for this example. And since I've already been backing up to another drive, it pops up with this uh, warning that says, um, if you use both, Time Machine will take turns backing up to either one. So I'm just going to click use both for now. But if you don't have one set up, it's just going to give you the option to set that one up. The next thing it's going to do is it's going to format the disk for you so it's compatible with the Time Machine. Go ahead and format it and you can see it's formatted up there in the right hand side. Now you can exclude uh, any items that you want from the backup by clicking the plus sign. If there's anything that you don't want to back up, maybe large files or something, you can choose that from there. But I just choose to back everything up. I go up into the Time Machine Preferences now and click Backup Now. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to speed up the backup process. Uh, mine is already backed up, but your first one might take a little while. But it, it generally only takes a couple of hours for the first backup, and then all the backups after that only take a few minutes, and you don't even notice that they're happening in the background. So now we'll go into the time machine, and you can see that every hour, going back until you started, it contains all the information, all the files that you had at that moment in time. So if you lose a file or something, you can go back and you can just grab an individual file, or if you are gonna restore your entire system, uh, you can restore to that time frame. I hope you found this tutorial useful, and I hope that you can use the information in it to back up your system in case of a failure and you can easily recover it in a matter of minutes. Uh, please click like and subscribe. I'm going to have more videos uh, with other Mac hacks and uh, maybe some life hacks too. I'm not sure yet. And uh, stay tuned for more. Thank you.